if this is your first time visiting the channel make sure you hit that subscribe button and don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you like the content on the channel welcome to nerd guy news ngn where all nerds collide <laughs> What's up everybody, NerdLogic here and welcome back to the channel. So apparently Marvel is working on a Silver Surfer movie. You heard me correctly, a Silver Surfer movie. And it's been a long time coming guys. A lot of us have been wondering when was Marvel going to use those rights to the Silver Surfer and have a actual solo movie develop. Well, it looks like it's going to happen very, very soon. Now, not as soon as we think it's going to be, but we're quite sure the speculation and everything has been rumors around this movie to be slated somewhere around within Phase 4, Phase 5 MCU uh, Cinematic Universe. So hopefully we'll get to see Norrin Rad on the big screen sometime soon. Now, for those of you who don't know who Norrin Rad is, he is basically kind of an alien from a whole nother planet where his planet was under siege under no other than Galactus the almighty powerful Galactus who we will most likely see within the next coming MCU movies because I mean let's face it Galactus is definitely going to be the next big bag in the Marvel Cinematic Universe but anyway Galactus basically destroys Norrin Rad's planet and as Norrin Rad is basically trying to do everything that he can do to save his planet he offers up his life his his own self into slavery under the control over Galactus now while he does this he's leaving behind the perfect life a lot of people believe that you know Norrin Rad was just basically a slave to Galactus the whole entire time and a herald to Galactus the whole entire time but no Norrin Rad was actually a just a regular person living on a planet he was technically an alien on a, on a distant planet and uh, he had a wife and you know an actual nice life and then unfortunately Galactus came along and basically destroyed his planet and then he absorbed the power cosmic and he became no other than the all-powerful silver surfer now imagine how would that look on big screen on the big silver screen imagine being in a the movie theater and we see the silver surfer flying around the cosmos on his silver surfboard and just interacting with all these other interstellar intergalactic beings that we have not seen in the mcu yet i think that is going to be just a jewel like a absolute jewel in the mcu that us fans get to see norn rad the silver surfer fly around just throughout the whole entire cosmos interacting with people like thor and the guardians of the galaxy and then eventually the fantastic four and everything will lead up to him appearing in one of the avengers movies so my my thing is is if norn rad is going to be in these upcoming movies then they have to add even more power cosmic people um or into these beings in the MCU. And that's where Adam Warlock is going to come in. That's where we might see Ronan the Accuser again eventually. And we'll start seeing all these other powerful cosmic beings that we haven't yet to see before. People like Nova. Um, and we already seen uh, Captain Marvel. So, you know, there's going to be so many different other beings that's going to be in the MCU. And it's going to get to a point where all the superheroes and all these other different beings are going to be so powerful they're going to be like on god tier level powerful and that's just i think that's going to be the awesome point of where the mcu is going is having these all-powerful characters being on screen taking down an all-powerful villain uh in the likes of galactus um now you know we we've seen the silver surfer before in the the whole fox universe and that was great um we didn't get the the version of galactus that we want that was just the absolute worst version of Galactus ever but hopefully the MCU and I wouldn't even say hopefully of course Marvel is going to get it right but we're going to get the best Silver Surfer and the best Galactus that we're going to have ever and I'm sure the story is going to be like an origin story for Norrin Rad we're going to see where he's come from we're going to see how he gets his powers we're going to see um, all the trials and tribulations that he's going to go through uh, within the MCU and I think it's going to be like a time jump in between um, uh, with the movie to basically see what happened then when he uh, when he had his planet destroyed and then we're going to go through I guess certain chronological points in his life and then it's going to lead up to where he possibly meets the Fantastic Four so guys tell me what do you think how do you feel about this Norn Rad the Silver Surfer Silver Surfer is getting his own movie 
in the Marvel Cinematic Universe is currently in development. And uh, Kevin Feige even said that, you know, the Silver Surfer is definitely a character that they have been wanting to do for a long time. And Silver Surfer happens to be one of Kevin Feige's favorite uh, MCU characters, uh, well, comic characters, superheroes at that. So um, anyway, guys, let me know what you think. Leave your comments down below. Uh, make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the notifications bell. That way you know when I upload my videos to YouTube. And uh, yeah, I guess i catch you guys next time. Also, guys, before I leave, I just want to let you know, once I reach 100 subscribers, I will be giving away a special prize. So if you guys can, make sure you let everybody know about this channel, get them to come on over. And if there are a Marvel fan or a DC fan or any type of fan at all, any type of content, bring them over to the channel and make sure that they subscribe and hit that notifications bell. Anyway, guys, i catch you on the flip side. Stay super.